welcome today I'm gonna to share with you all a recipe for boiled chana or chana sauce and a couple of people have requested this from me so I thought as it's Diwali time I should probably go ahead and make it since it's vegetarian so for this recipe I have here some fresh bandania or culantro I have here about four to five cloves of garlic sliced and you're gonna need a few pieces of hot pepper or one hot pepper depending on how spicy you want this dish I have some baking soda salt and black pepper to taste and here I have my chana so for the chana I have two cups of chana and it's dried chana and all I did was I soaked it in some baking powder overnight so when you soak the chana overnight what happens is it reconstitutes that dried chana and you get this so I'm just gonna put up my chana to boil I'm gonna put it on medium medium high heat To the chana I'm going to add in my baking soda and you will get the list of ingredients down below in the description box. Now if you don't have baking soda you can use baking powder. I'm going to add some salt and just add a little. When we're finished we'll taste and adjust the salt accordingly. So all you do now is let this boil and let those chana greens or chickpea greens soften. So in the meantime, we're going to prepare our seasoning for this. And here I have the kilantro or bandania or shadow benny. I'm just going to break this up into smaller pieces. And you're going to add it to your food processor along with your garlic and your pepper. Next, you just want to chop everything up until it's really fine. Empty your mixture into a bowl and set aside. So as you see as the chana is boiling these impurities start to come up and what you want to do is just skim it off and throw it into a separate bowl and discard that. So my chana has finished boiling and the grains are really tender. See that's how you want to boil it until it's tender. So what I'm going to do now is drain this water out, wash it out and add some more water to this. Okay so to this I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. We'll add taste and adjust the salt after. And add all of your green seasoning. You're going to put this back on medium heat. And just let it go for like 5 minutes. You just want to heat that seasoning through. And once you do that, your boiled chana or chana sauce will be ready. Now if you wanted to, and this is totally optional, you can put a few slices of cucumber in this, but it's all up to you. So this, once it comes up and it's warm, you taste it, adjust your salt accordingly, and then this will be ready to be served. So here you have it, my boiled chana or chana sauce recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple and easy vegetarian dish. Make it and let me know down below if you like it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.